Good night and welcome back to our Lithuanian Cossacks campaign. We're going to start preparing for the eventual attack on Poland. Um, while they're not allied to France, hopefully they never will be, but we need to start fabricating on the provinces we need, such as Warsaw. So let's send him down there. Now we could just rival him, we'll get the five year truce for the breaking of the uh, alliance. So let's just declare war on Smolensk instead. We'll do it over, I don't know, Smolensk. Let's clear. And we want not a particularly good siege guy down there, a better siege guy up here. And we are trying to get rid of the overextension so we can actually finish this war. Well, we could vassalize them, but no, no we just want to take them out. 19 and 23 development. With apparently a better supply limit than where we were just standing. Yep. That's cool. Gazi, you want to come up and help out? And what's our annexations? They're coming along pretty nicely. We're only getting six points per month at the moment, though. We do being discovered by Poland. Did covert action minus forty. That's only for five years. It's fine. They can keep hating us since we're gonna to go to war with them. What have we got over here? Protestant zealots. And that war's over. Alright, now we are gonna want a much larger army if we're gonna attack Poland. We need to spend the manpower now. So the only issue really is the money. If we replace military guy, hmm. what was this one? Our army is a mere shell. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go near that. But we're not doing any idea groups. Well, we're doing this one, but we can't do it yet. We are a long way off getting the next idea group. So we don't really need these military points ahead of time on tech as well. All right, let's go for manpower guy, I guess, because he's level one. That gives us money for more points. So better relations over time can give way for spy offense. Try and get these annexations done faster. France, I know that they use. Alright, we need to keep these ticking along. Memlooks will remain bankrupt forever. Come on, end of the month. Here we go. Alright, then. Two years from now, we can start that last call. Where's the other place we had the... Uh, down on the Timurids. Alright, we could absolutely slaughter the Kazakh. Probably give us something to do. Although... Nah, we're going to save our manpower. Speaking of which, I <laughs> wasn't supposed to be doing that. I was supposed to be saving money. Oh have a very small war chest. Let's create a template for another one of these. Let's make these actually just larger. It'd be better than having a whole new army. That'll work. 26 and 6. Okay, that gives us 16 more. Smolensk one out. A ton of unrest because of the overextension, which is dangerously high. Yeah, plus five. Okay. Could be attrition there, but it'll be not really all that much. 26 and 6 was what we were going for. Let's pull these guys over a little closer to Poland.
Cossack aggression against Muscovy. Gain five prestige. Cool. And we want to keep an eye on these. So we're down to 49. Let's hit up Smolensk. Another 42. It's reasonable. Send that. Then we get another fort. Fantastic. So we've got promises of that cause. Yeah. Rather expensive. And we did already own them, of course. We had to release them, which is annoying. Should probably build a fort over here as well. Uh, buildings. Level 4. In the capital. Definitely going to be important. We're attacking Poland. Who are, of course, allied with Aragon and Venice. What we really need is for France to go to war with Aragon. Need them to go to war with somebody. Level Uprising, Astrakhan. That would be in Kuma. Alright, here are Slavl and Vladimir, since it's going to be a while before we can call them anyway. This is a lot better now. Getting a lot more Russian territory. Nearly a quarter of the country. Alright, so we only have three decent-ish armies. He has a 3-3 leader there. these guys first. And there's a fort map mode thing here. Idea cost down. Great, got one idea left and we can't do it because it's admin. Schluster lose influence. Claim on Warsaw. Alright, so his forts are all level 2 by the looks. It's Valachia. What tech is he? 13, 14, 14. 14 is when you can build them though. He just hasn't gotten around to it yet. Probably doesn't have the money. Alright, that's good. Clergy demand more control. Let's give them know, something random in here. Seven development, sounds good. Go to the clergy. Two hundred points before we can do the next one. So, let's fabricate something else on Poland. I think we want Bezarabia, so we can get onto Wallachia. Fabricate on Bezarabia. Go. <coughs> now, Warsaw itself is 19. Bezarabia is 9, so that could work. We went for both of them. Now, it will be 5 years away if we um, get rid of them. If we rival them, get rid of the alliance. I don't think we even want to bother dropping it. I'd rather just attack one of their other allies directly. Which was going to be Venice. If we were to attack them. Aragon and all their friends. Really just need Aragon. To change their mind. Yeah, let's go over the limit a bit more. Actually, let's drop Ming. Alright, dissolve this alliance. Get the royal marriage. Puts us on 7 out of 5 because we need to drop Scotland as well. Might try and do this the same day that we declare the war that Poland's going to get called in. And discovered by Poland. I don't like that. So let's break our old ties. We have full, full diplomatic, so we're not taking a stability hit. Alright, gets rid of that. Then we are 6 out of 5. We have 2 vassals, 4 allies. One of those allies will drop off. Alright, we need Aragon higher. 
some fruit with them. Hopefully, if we get them decently high, they won't get cold in at all. Seven points. Uh, yeah, Jagalon died. There's Regency Council. And our alliance with them is about to break anyway. Did covert actions. Allied to rival France. Cool. Alright, well, if they're about to drop us anyway, let's just rival them. We will spend these, because there's no reason not to. Must be allied. So I drop that immediately. Okay. Now we're looking for attacking Venice. And seeing whether... Aragon would protect now that he likes us. Aragon has died. Well, he's not going to get involved in any wars for a while then. Hopefully he'll offer us the royal marriage since we don't have a guy spare. Ah, screw it. Let's go and do it ourselves. Growth of cities attracts surfing. Uh, this is a little bit. Such to gain loyalty, morale of armies down, we do not want. So we're just going to do that, get local autonomy, royal marriage with them. When he gets back, we'll have a look at what the situation is vis a vis Venice. Alright, Aragon, attitude towards enemies, minus 20. Okay. Well, we could call Sweden into that one, surprising. Can't call in Aragon, of course. No CB against Venice, but we can't actually get one. And yes, Poland, we could just wait until 1599. Muscovy is in 1605. I don't think there are any other wars we want to actually bother with. So let's just get this one started and start working towards the end. So France and Sweden come in. Poland, we can't co-belligerize. The Knights and Memmingen, we don't care about. Aragon is unfortunate. Defensive for their Diplo rep. Yeah, we're just going to have to do it. Alright. Check the aggressive expansion. It's only Muscovy. Good. Stability drop. And we will be able to start coring the other one. Alright, Memmingen, the Knights, Poland, Castilian Canada, La Plata, Castile, Aragon. Okay, Poland have 25,000. They're the largest army. And they are, of course, the entire reason for this freaking war. Now, these guys go to Bender. These guys go to Poodle. These guys go to Bezarabia. These are Steppes and Grasslands. It's not particularly fantastic defensive terrain. We are barely making money, but I don't think we're going to be once we have to start reinforcing the armies. Man park out. And we can get another leader. Our heir, we don't want to die. This guy's going to die soon anyway. So let's not mess with that. Can't grant another general until four years from now. Uh, let's just buy one. He's got Siege. Cool. So, we get a 2-2, two -two, which of course isn't impressive at all. But he'll stay there. Suffering a tiny bit of attrition. With his one manoeuvre. Alright. Now, fleet-wise... Yeah. We're not contributing anything towards it. Are you serious? Should have actually kept an eye on it, but oh. Uh, 
There's only these two provinces, so it's going to take a long time. Alright, Gazi. Actually, I forgot about our vassals. Going to come in and hopefully help against Poland. I had completely forgotten about Sweden in this war as well. So France will focus on them. And his other armies, I don't know, will probably get pretty messed up. Like Memmingen as well. Yeah, this could be interesting. I mean, France might actually peace out early. Maybe Sweden have a decent army. Where are our guys doing? They are aggressive. Good. Got the poodle. We will... Holy crap, Sweden's gone straight to the war goal. Good on him. We'll head over to Lublin. And these guys will head to... Zemsil. This army will hang behind and get these back. We'll see our claim on Kazadoom. Yep, France went for Castile. That's good. Although Aragon's the one that they need to take over. Where is their capital these days? Oh, great. That's going to be a hassle to get to. Over to Kizil Yard. And yes, reinforcements are pretty damn expensive. <laughs> We're taking his capital. Now the good thing about this is we can separate piece these guys. That would cost more than 100 just getting down there. That's unfortunate. So that's what we're going to want. Kizulyar. Head over into the woods. Oh, that guy had siege as well, actually. Holy crap, knights. That's just annoying. So there go all our transport ships. Goes Bezarabia. He can head on to Hunyad. Backfill with these guys once they're done, I think. Actually, our uh, Ghazi and Khorasan will do the backfill. Just head over to Teodoro. Good. He's afraid of them. Hello, Sweden. Supposed to do that with your entire arm. Alright, got them back. Now we have to Moldavia. These fortresses are pretty damn easy to take, which is good. Let's head to Krakow. Level 2 forts at 1600. That was a brilliant idea there, Poland. Hello, France. Oh, that's still high. Alright, he's trying to get back Ostroda. Is Venice. That's right, Venice is the war leader. War of Lithuanian aggression. Alright, got Moldavia. Head over to Maros. Gonna take three more forts pretty soon. Can't get to Pesht because we're blocked through there. Let's just head up this way. Do the backfill while we're waiting for one of these to fall. Military tech sounds fun. One crack whore. Down to Ezekushva. Superior unit types. This the cannon. Sounds reasonable. Got Moros. To Halix. Holy crap. That's what we're afraid of. Giant armies like that. He's going to be sending the majority of his men down this way now. Five days, we can't get out. What we can do, though, is do a really poor attempt at reinforcing, which he's actually doing. So, that could be good. He's got the minus two, and he has lower morale. Slightly higher attack um, tactics, so discipline. This dude's dead. Those are the points we need. So, stability cost modifier. 
I guess, because our leader's going to die soon. That's unfortunate. But, okay. These guys, we're going a long way around, then go to Luau. Okay, well, we're going to take a short break here, and when we come back, we will hopefully do pretty well in this war against Poland, which is actually a war against Venice. So, thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.